Hey guys, JaxBlade07 here, and I've got a new workout video for y'all, just for you. So I was looking through my Facebook the other day, and I saw this picture, and I was like, yeah, I do imagine that when I'm going on my runs. And my two favorite species are Sonic and Rainbow Dash. And I was just thinking, what if we had a workout to get fast like them? I got my certificates in personal training and strength coaching. Hey, I'm not doing my job, apparently. I should be hooking up my YouTubers. For the people who can run or are just lazy and they feel like they want to get back into it, then this exercise program I've designed will help you immensely. But Jax, I don't like running. But let me ask you, what if you had to run and save a friend or a little child from being hit from a car? <laughs> what if, hypothetically speaking, there was a zombie apocalypse, huh? <laughs> See? You got nut up or shut up or you're gonna get eaten alive. Now for the running exercises, I've chosen one part speed, one part endurance, and one part agility. Now the weight exercises and the plyometric exercises I've chosen will really help get that quick feet that you desire to help you boost out. The guys I want you guys to do would be box jumps. This is just working your quickness and power right now. And if you are feeling daring, add some burpees to the mix. I learned this tactic from my boy Ice One Cubed, and damn, my conditioning went through the roof. So not only get that super speed, but that endurance too. But remember, always be safe and don't jump too high and bust your ass. And pick a box of a moderate height for you and jump on and off it as quickly as possible for four sets of 10 reps. Next exercise I'm having you guys do would be the split dumbbell lunge. This exercise is great for developing quick feet and strengthening your quads and hamstrings. It also gives you a great plot if you know what I'm talking about. Grab two dumbbells for light weight and get in position as if you were going to do a standard lunge. Bring your lead foot forward and instead of bringing it back to standing, hop and alternate the feet and land smoothly. If you have bad ankles, don't use any weight at all for this exercise. You want to be able to run like Sonic. This will give you a great foundation in your legs and do four sets of 12 reps. Exercise I have you guys doing is a dumbbell jump squat. This will just add on to more explosive power. So if you are in a situation that you just don't want to be in, you can just boom and dash out of there. Two dumbbells of a light weight again, and then squat down, making sure your knees try not to go past your toes. And as soon as you are low as possible, jump as high as possible. And repeat that for about four sets of 15 reps. Now you probably think I have something special planned for the running section of this video. Uh, nope. Just Run. Lock four, say yep. Running is not only great for your heart health, but your mental health as well. Why do you think Sonic is so happy all the time? I mean, besides banging Sally and eating all those chili dogs, he's got that runner's high, man. And look at Rainbow Dash. She's high all the time, too, but that's because she can fly and in the clouds, but that, that, that's not the point right now. Here's what I want you to do. Get a timer or stopwatch and set it for 30 minutes. Go running and try your hardest not to stop when you feel like you have emptied the tank. Remember the exact minute you stopped at, then each time you run, try to beat that time, and when that 30 minutes becomes easier, pick up the pace in your running and set a goal like I'm gonna run around this area within 30 minutes or less. So you, there are quite a few ways of increasing your agility. There, you can do shuttle runs like I'm doing here, or you could do zigzag runs like here, or side to side lateral movements. Any of these will help a lot. The ability to decelerate, accelerate, and change direction while maintaining good body control without losing time in the transition. It's been said that outside of sports specific skills, agility is a primary determining factor for success in sports or any like running thing for that matter. And it's a great way to practice, I found, is just to practice with a friend. Because you know, friendship is magic. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Now the final part of this training video was sprinting. And I found just doing common sprinting there and back has helped me a lot. There are so many different ways and there are so many different people that'll tell you different stuff. But that I'm just saying what has helped me. And I just say pick an area, sprint there, and sprint back and do that for about 10 sets of 10. Cause, and this is where you just, you know, you blast it. You just empty that tank. You go supersonic rain boom. Yeah, you like that, huh? Fuse them together, tag blade, jacks blade. So anyways, you just do that. But I also found what really helps is if you have a friend and you compete against them. So yeah, as a matter of fact, one of my friends helped me out. Damn Sonic, should've never told him about Sonic's chili dogs. Oh huh. Yo Dash, you ready to go? for dramatic effect. So guys, that was my training for running. It's really helped me a lot and it's helped a few of my clients and friends out too. So I hope that it can help you as well. Remember, just stay consistent with something and if you feel it increasing, then always, you know, push yourself, push your limits, try to go harder each time. But it's all depending on you. Just like, don't hurt yourself, but just push your body 
to its limits. I just want you to be able to explore the world in a great way just by having a healthy, better life. So I'm just doing these videos for you and I hope you enjoy them. I hope you guys have a great day and later my Z fans, bro from my bronies, peace out. Mm. I'll give Sonic this. Chili dogs are freaking awesome. Right, Rainbow Dash. Do it again. I wasn't recording. Damn.